Hello there, my name is Prosper and this is Seed Talk! Go! Ah, we are here back again! I tell you now for the last series or the last episode, say we're going to do some things about mining in Nigeria, we're going to discuss mining in Nigeria, and we're going to bring some professionals who we don't interact with in the course of the week, the month, and some days, you know. We, we met some professionals uh, in the likes of some DGs, parastatals, even the minister, and we discussed about, you know, the issues and the opportunities that are bound in the mining sector. Mining! We get so many natural resources when they're under the ground, when we're not just, we're not just bother about, everybody just the clamor for oil, everybody just want to do oil, 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 go so finish! We got gold, we got so, so many natural resources inside this ground, but laziness, and some people just call up here and say that they are property. Now on the program today, I'm going to be bringing you one of my main guys. Professor Kwafun Shaw is the registrar for COMEG and this is the Council for Miners in Nigeria. He's going to be telling us some things about mining and what it takes to be a miner, registration, all those BB grammar that they speak. So just take a listen to him and hear him out and then we'll come back and wrap up the program. We were given back to by National Assembly, COMEG, when I say we, I personalize that's COMEG, given back to by National Assembly via Act number 40 of 1990 that set up this agency as the sole or apex regulatory agency of professionals in the Nigerian extractive industry. That is to separate us from others. And what does that mean when you say extractive industry? You are basically talking of professionals who are engaged in adding value to natural resources that are born out of the earth, be it solid minerals, be it petroleum, be it gas, be it water, be it sand, clay, the list goes on. Basically includes registering. When you see registrar as the head of any agency, jam. You know, it has to do with registering persons. Otherwise, they will have used the word DG. So the first mandate is to register, open a register for all members who are working professionals in the Nigerian extracting industry. Mining, geoscientists, cutting across geology, majority are geophysicists, hydrogeologists, then you talk of uh, engineering geologists, economic geologists, water resources experts, petroleum engineers, uh, metallurgical engineers, mineral processing engineers. So long as they take resources from the ground and sell like that or process for human or factory consumption, used locally or for export, that is the first mandate. The other mandate is after you open the register, which are supposed to be in different part. The first part is registration of Nigerians. Also registration of expatriates. After you have done that, then also you have different segments. They did register. Is he supposed to register as a mining engineer? Is he supposed to register as a petrological engineer? Petroleum engineers? Geologists, geophysicists, just a list on and on like that. We also have that. Then, having, when we have done that, that's the duty of the registrar, the main duty. Then also the heart empower us to also monitor the way and manner they carry out their assignment. So that you don't have more injury to the society and to the environment. Because when you don't regulate human beings, they go a wire. They create problems. And we go regularly to monitor whatever they are doing. How are they discharging their duty? Are there any encumbrances to them? Or are they causing encumbrances to the society? Or to the environment? 
that the government will not like. So we should be able to step in and be able to make adequate preparation. And that implies that, based on the act that set up this particular agency, you are not supposed to work in any of these locations that I've mentioned if you are not registered with COMEC. We are also empowered to monitor the way and manner the people that are supposed to come on board later in life as registered members, the way they have been trained. In other words, you go to higher institutions, monitor our professionals that are there who are training young Nigerians. Are they training them based on our own benchmark that we have established? We have benchmark for training of mine engineers. We have benchmark for training of geologists. We have benchmark for training of geophysicists, which of course is pari pasu with that of NUC. Then also, we are also empowered to discipline any members, the power of, to discipline, to investigate. You know, you have to first of all allege, you allege, you investigate. There is disciplinary power. There is the power of tribunal, which is equivalent to that of a high court judge. And every appeal after that goes straight to the court of appeal. If you as a Ms. Dinimo, in the course of your work, and we have reports, we have had that in the past, and of course the case comes to us that you took a contract, you are supposed to drill borehole, and you agree to 150 feet, 180 feet along the line, you give some excuses, and the client comes to us. We investigate and do the necessary thing. Okay, this regime of President Muhammad Buhari has stated loud and clear from the first time to the second time that they are diversifying the Nigerian economy because that is the best way to go. And how do we diversify? To what? From petroleum to what? Two areas are Greek and mining. It has been clearly stated. So I cannot be saying as if I'm an expert uh, taking it for the first time. It is their sing song of this regime. So the other area, apart from petroleum, because petroleum is almost, there was a time petroleum was selling for zero, mm -hmm. zero naira. So where do we go next? A Greek and mine. And that is why the Ministry of Mine and Steel Development has keen to that vision. They were identified by 34 minerals. It has increased to 44 now. And what do you do? Is to be able to pay attention, not to all of them at the same time. Identify the good ones in each geopolitical zone. Pay attention to them. Make impact. When I don't hear, let me talk calm. Prof, don't talk calm. So, you see, there's so many things we need to understand about this country. You know, I keep saying it in this program or on this program. We have so much to benefit from. Nigeria are too rich for us to run, come on. We are the wrong go. We have so many things here that will drive this economy that nobody go poor. Laziness and corruption. You know, but again, this is not my country. I will fight, live and die in it because there is no other place that is better than your home. Sweet home. They say home, sweet home. Well, I'm not going to talk too much because Professor don't take plenty of our time. Again, my name is Prosper and this is it.